What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba Marina and if you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Make sure you click this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will never miss out on any new content. Now in today's video, just like the title says, we're actually going to look at two different brand new backplate and wings. This is a steel backplate and wing setup. This is a brand new aluminum uh, setup. And what we're going to be doing is discussing how you know which is going to be right for you, whether it's going to be the steel set or the aluminum set. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so I've got two brand new backplate and wings here. I'm going to talk about the differences in them real quick, and then I'll talk about the purpose of each and why I chose to go with each of these. Uh, first of all, I've got a standard Mares XR 3mm steel plate system here. I've got the SSI Pro version of the Mares XR Red Devil system here. Um, why did I choose these two? Well, first of all, before we get into that, I do want to say our very next video, we will actually be breaking this system down piece by piece, part by part, and I will be showing you how to thread the harness properly to the backplate and wing. I'll also be showing you how to actually adjust it as well. So definitely stay tuned for that video because it's going to be very in-depth and very thorough. I think it's going to be educational for you and I really think it'll be helpful for you as well. I know I've got a lot of questions in the past about how do you actually do that. I will be actually be showing you that in the future video. So why did I choose these two and what's the two major difference? Well, I chose the new steel plate system simply because I needed a new steel plate system. My current system is set up now for salvage work and public safety work and I found myself a lot of times using it for fun diving, recreational diving, technical diving, and then all of a sudden I had a call out and I'd have to re-rig it in a different fashion for those types of diving, the public safety diving and the salvage work. So I didn't want to have to do that on a constant basis. I wanted to be able to leave my public safety gear and my salvage gear pre-set up for any time that I get an immediate call out and I still wanted a system to go dive for fun, whether it was recreational or technical. So that's why I set up an identical system here. As far as the aluminum system goes, guys, this is the SSI Pro Red Devil or Mares Red Devil. Uh, a lot of you guys know that the Mares Red Devil was discontinued about two years ago. It was replaced by the Blue Battle and the Silver Knight. They are the exact same system, guys. It just instead of painted red, one was painted a blue camo, the other one was painted silver. Uh, however, this is the SSI Pro version. What that means is, is down here on the plate, it's just uh, lasered, uh, lasered into it. it says SSI SSI Pro. Uh, it's got a little um, accessory pouch that says SSI Pro. Same thing on the um on the weight pouches itself, plus it has weight pouches attached to it. Now, one thing it does not have is the trim pouches here in the back. I will be adding trim pouches very soon here to the back, but the reason I purchased this one is really twofold. One, I needed a new travel BCD. Now, typically I travel with a backplate and wing, but it's the soft backplate and wing, but I wanted something that would do dual purpose for me. So it's light enough for me to travel with, but it's also a great teaching BCD because I truly believe in backplate wings. I think they're great to teach in, they're great to dive in, they're great to start in. That way you're not caught, you know, getting caught in a learning curve when you finally do switch to them. But the simple fact that this one comes with the weight pouches, the SS or the SLS weight pouches, it's going to make it not only a great travel system for me, it's also going to be a great teaching rig for me as well because obviously in the open water class obviously in the rescue course we're constantly teaching how to remove and replace weights whether it's an emergency or just an adjust adjustment issue and so with that being said i don't have to take this system constantly add weights and take weights off when i don't need it i can just purely have this set up for teaching open water scuba rescue a couple of specialties i really like the accessory pouch here um, and most of our instructors use this system and they will use the accessory pouch. I've really not been a big fan, but I think I'm really going to like it once I start using it simply because I can put my teaching slates in it. I can put spare mask in it. I can put spare compasses in it. Whatever I need for my students will be able to go into this. Uh, but that's it, guys. That's why I chose a new steel system and a new aluminum system as well to actually teach with and dive with for fun. I do want to very briefly talk about the differences between aluminum and steel and what may be right for you first of all it doesn't matter what i tell you it doesn't matter what your instructor tells you it doesn't matter what your best dive buddy tells you until you have a system and you get out there and dive you're not really going to know what's going to work for you until you get out there and use it so with that being said let's talk about the differences real quick between a steel and aluminum plate and hopefully it'll help you make your decisions a lot easier in the future steel plates are usually a little bit heavier this is a three mil steel plate it comes in at five pounds mares also makes a six mil plate 
that comes in at eight pounds. That simply means you don't have to wear as much weight on your rig because the weight is evenly distributed and it's built into the rig itself. It's a little bit easier to make a balanced rig with a steel system because first of all, it's gonna help you with trim. It's evenly dispersed across your body. And number two, you're not having to carry that much additional weight with you because it's built in. So steel plates are a little bit heavier. They do cost a little bit more, but in the long run, I think they come in a little bit more handy because you can work across different systems, different exposure suits, and you're not sitting there weighting yourself down with so much weight. With the aluminum system, they're great for travel. This plate actually comes in around the one pound mark. It's a little bit more than the soft plate system, but it's gonna be great for travel because it's the one pound. And it also works good if you have a lot of, say, neoprene compression. Say if you're diving aluminum doubles, or maybe you're in a thick wetsuit, deep in the ocean obviously you're going to have to wear a little bit of weight but as you go down your suits actually compression that means you're going to get a little bit heavier and a little bit heavier it's a little bit hard harder if you will to balance this rig out but you have the safety factor built in that with the aluminum obviously you got to add a little bit of extra weight and that also means that you can ditch the weight during an emergency but guys that's it in a nutshell that's why i chose these two rigs uh, like i said stay tuned for this video here our very next video we will be breaking this system down and i'll be showing you how to properly thread a backplate wing with the harness so there you go guys got two brand new systems here i got a brand new steel system brand new aluminum system and to be honest with you i have very specific reasons for needing both but i want to know down in the comment section below which one you like better do you prefer diving with aluminum system or steel and let me know why that is the case guys i wish i could give you some more info on what's actually going to work for you if you are new to diving or even if you're an experienced diver and you're in that learning curve maybe you just purchased a backplate and wing or you're in the market for a backplate and wing it's very difficult for me to tell you what's gonna work best for you, simply because each person or each diver's buoyancy characteristics is gonna be a little bit different from the next. And even our exposure suits, whether you wear a wetsuit or a dry suit, they're gonna be different. You can make any system out there work for you with a little bit of practice. With that being said, the best tip I can give you in purchasing a new backplate wing is simply go to your local training center and see what they have in their rental pool or see what type of systems they sell. And maybe even ask your instructor if he dives a backplate wing, see if he'll allow you to dive it and hopefully it'll make your decision in purchasing a new system a little bit easier for you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did smash that thumbs up button for me and definitely share it as well i want you to stay tuned our very next video we will be taking that steel plate system and breaking it down piece by piece and we'll actually be reinstalling the harness system and i wanted to make a very methodical video for you so it's going to be kind of a long one but i think it'll answer some questions that we've got in the past and i, I think it'll be educational enough for you you to make it easier threading these systems in the near future so de guys definitely stay tuned for that and like i said this coming saturday we will be doing a live q a i'm going to be bringing my wife in with me because she is a non-diver a lot of people ask well how do you travel on all these trips but you take your wife who's not a diver what does she do so i think it's going to be a great time to bring her in and maybe answer some questions that you guys have had and guys you can ask us anything i do want to ask once again please keep it respectful but you can ask us anything if you can't join us this saturday at 6 30 p.m eastern standard time then simply put a comment down in this uh, video here and i'll try to put it up during that video as well and, and answer your question the best i can because i really appreciate you coming and watching this video with us as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business